Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Anna from Craft Me A Card, and I love crafting for the crafter, and that is you. Okay, so for today, I have something to share with you guys. And that comes in this little box that I was hoping it would be bigger, but <laughs> it's a good size as long as it's loaded with fun stuff. So this is an order I place with Spellbinders, and, and they're all items that were on clearance. And this was around the time of Black Friday. So, um... I want to share with you guys what I got and I went ahead and I spent um, close to a hundred dollars and that's something that I usually don't do um, I tried to spend as, as less as I possibly can but I did go for it for two reasons to qualify for free shipping I hate paying for shipping <laughs> and number two because I'm going to be announcing kind of like a shocker um, in January so the placing of this order to be so large was influenced partially by this announcement that I will be uh, bringing to you guys in January. Uh, so yeah, you guys, please tune in to hear that announcement. And new year, new goals, right? So uh, for today, let me share with you guys what I ordered from Spellbinders. And I like Spellbinders because their items come fairly quick so i like that and i don't even remember what i ordered but these look fun oh wow okay these are expressive set of finish oh finishing line pens and this is by jane davenport so these have different thicknesses in the points so i'm excited to do this oh very nice they're like brush pens um so one of my Goals. Um, I want to start uh, doing some multimedia, more multimedia. I just really enjoy it. So this was bought with that intention. And I also bought a retractable craft knife. Yes, please. You know I use crafters knives a lot. And so this one is retractable for when I am on the go. Um, I could retract it. Oh, wait a second, how does this work? Oh, okay. So, nice, okay, good. It has a good, a good sharpness to it. And then, oh, okay, very well. And I know it comes with an additional one stored in here somewhere, 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 but where? Well, look at the direction. Oh, there's no instructions. <laughs> Um, I will figure it out. I know there's a, I know there's an extra um, knife in there somewhere. Okay, I will figure that out later. All right, so now, oh, that's it. <laughs> okay, but this has to be fun stuff, right? And metal dies are not cheap. But I really like the quality. I really like the quality of Spellbinders. And these were all on clearance. So the price was significantly lower. Okay, ooh, fun, okay. So I was thinking of Easter here. Look at how cute this die cut set is. This metal die has bunnies and little, little flowers. It says Easter, spring, and it has, oh, I love this. Oh, so this says happy here. So I'm sure I could use that on other projects like cards, little branches, little, okay, nice. Oh my gosh, that little carrot is adorable. You guys know I like to work with little tiny things like this. Okay, oh yes, yes, yes. So this is supposed to be used with, yes. It's supposed to be used with this car here. And it's called Sunday Drive. And you can, instead of cutting, this word out here you could stamp it out and put it there you know happy halloween thank you for your service delivering chocolate and jelly beans Ooh. so anyways so this stamp set goes along with this one you could uh use this delivering smiles across the miles 
Uh, the greatest adventure star here at North. North Pole Express Delivery, wishing you a day filled with joy. This card is full of a million thanks. I will be using that one. No road is too long with good company. Merry Christmas. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Thank you for all you do. And happiness is a road trip with a good playlist. Yes. Okay, so I got these two. Okay, so you can see here what the metal die cuts out. And this is the die that comes with it. Sunday Drive. See? All occasion. So this one I really liked. This could make a lot of fun happy birthday cards. And this one's called Birthday Candles. And I just love the watercolor feel of it and the size. Very, very fun. Very fun. So I'll be using that. And I also got, oh yes, this super cute, I thought, this is the metal die that we're getting. The legs swing back and forth. Oh, <laughs> that's what it says here, the legs swing back and forth. So, oh, okay. It's made for you to put like a brad for the legs to be able to swing back and forth. But I just love the idea of creating this little leg thing here and putting the boxes decorated as gifts. I had a video last year when I was showing you guys um, different ways to personalize a Christmas card, how to make it really special. And um, I thought this was another way to do it by using this little these little legs. So I'm excited to use this on Christmas cards. Look at that. And not only Christmas, you could use that for, for a birthday as well. Why not? Just do it with different colors. Another one are these um, cutting dies. These are eight. And these are for you to cut. Um, well, I want to use it to cut my first layer on a card. So I really liked this. Um, the little design it has. I don't have anything quite like that. And what I liked was to play around with the idea of just running some thread through these little holes and just bringing that card up to another level. So that was my idea behind this one. And last but not least, I just thought this was beautiful and very delicate and intricate. Well, maybe not that intricate, but well, you know what? Yes, intricate. It has a lot of little holes. Oh dear. I'll be cleaning a lot. <laughs> so I like this one. I like that this was a large size and uh, it just has a lot of detail. I really like it. Yeah, here we go. Die cut detail. Um, so I'm excited to use this as well. Here's an example of how it looks. I just thought it was beautiful. So these items were the ones that I got for um, this little haul that I have from Spellbinders. And um, Spellbinders just has, is really good quality in my eyes. And, and I just have to make sure you know that I do not get paid by Spellbinders. I mean, they don't even know I exist. <laughs> but everything I talk about my products is, is things that I have noticed that I have bought that um, I'm sharing with you. Okay, so we'll see how some of these things um, are used. We'll see how well they work, um, how versatile they are, and um, I'll be here sharing it with you. So as always, thank you so very much for joining me and allowing me into your, your, your homes, into your phones, <laughs> into your computers, into your lives. Uh, I hope you get inspired. I hope you create and be happy. And uh, I'll catch you next time. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit the notification bell, like, and comment. Thank you so much. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Not a brace, not a bracket. Um, Brad! How do you take the additional knife out? Where are you? Where's the additional blade? I don't want to break it. Arr. Pretty sure it came with an additional blade, darn it. But where is it? Well, maybe when they said comes with one blade, it's probably that one. That's probably what they said, by one blade, not one additional blade. Mmm, boo-hoo.